Good morning, everybody. It's Bishop Deb, and I'm coming to you from my little sitting space down by the river in Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. It's uh, just about nine o'clock in the morning, and the minions are out. You might hear them in the background as I record this. They are making the place beautiful. The park is gorgeous, and it's looking like fall. Oh my goodness, the tree in front of me is losing its leaves already. I think the trees are ready to call it a season and go back to sleep. It's been a a long, hot summer. A lot of trees are stressed from lack of water and just extreme heat. It's kind of like most of us are feeling, I think. Let's call this a season and hibernate. I hope that you are well and enjoying your week. Second week of being back to school and things are starting to feel like routine again. It's amazing to me. I was at at a dollar store yesterday and of course they've got the uh, aisles of Halloween stuff but they've also got an aisle of Christmas stuff and I'm thinking whoa just a minute here hold your horses. Um, I know retail has to rush the season and crafters are always a season ahead making stuff but let's enjoy the day you know one day at a time. I know it's coming. I know the snow's on its way, but let's just, let's just enjoy this beautiful fall day. That's where we're at. Actually, it's not even fall yet. Let's enjoy this end of summer day. I'm a big advocate of that. Like, look where we are, not where we're going, not where we've been. Just one day at a time. Uh, Yeah, we have a tendency to to rush things to commercialize stuff and this year I actually have a wedding on Halloween day so I've been interested in in spooking up the chapel a bit you know just to get into the spirit of things so I've been looking at Halloween stuff but um, you know you can go overboard and you can get really gory and some of the stuff is just downright icky not my not my scene especially in a holy chapel so you know, we'll we'll um, Halloween it up a bit, but mostly we'll just be having a good time. And I've got a lovely ceremony that I've written that's kind of fun uh, for Halloween. So it's all good. It's all good. The uh, so we're, this is Thursday. I can't believe it's Thursday. Um, I hope you're looking forward to a nice weekend. Uh, praying for people in on the coast of uh, the states as Florence draws near uh, catastrophic water expected um, just horrible forecast and so keep them all in your prayers Mill- millions have already evacuated uh, it's changed course a bit so others are affected we just pray that it would be mitigated that the impact would not be as severe as uh, anticipated and that people would be safe and their belongings safe too that's a lot when you think about whole towns and they were saying yesterday the the coast like uh, at Myrtle Beach might never look the same because it's just going to take a pounding so pray for them pray for all who are affected by adverse weather uh, natural conditions and pray for those who are in any need or distress today. It's, uh, you know, the list is long. So let's take a moment, offer this to prayer, and get on with our day. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of this new day. This beautiful day, breaking open, filled with possibilities and promise. We give you thanks for all the blessings that you bring into our lives. We give you thanks for the many ways that you are making yourself known to us. You reach out to us with such love and such delight. Help us in all our cares. Help us in all our needs. Help us to know that you are always with us and we need not fear anything. What a wonderful thing not to fear anything. That even when hard times come, we know that you are there to assist, to help. You do not visit these things upon us. You are there to lift us out from the midst of them. May we depend on you 
and call upon your name whenever we need help. We pray for those in our lives who are suffering illnesses, those who are getting through viruses, those who are affected by seasonal allergies, those in any need, any distress in body, mind, or spirit. We ask that your holy angels comfort them, bring them what they need, heal and bless, change their lives. And in all things, we lift them to you for your help and your grace. Hallow our day. Bless us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Well, things are getting very busy here. People are mowing lawns beside me and more cars are coming in. It's Thursday, one of the last Thursdays of the summer season. So town will be busy. It's been a very active year for Niagara and the Lake. I'm sure the merchants are are quite happy with um, the way things have have moved. I know my son works at the local grocery store and they've been they've had a record year. They they've been making sandwiches and salads and that has been very um wise move because it's it's kind of expensive to dine here and uh this provides an alternative for families and so they've they've really made a good choice. It's been busy and so you know, prosperity is good for all. I wish you a great day and a happy day, a safe day. We'll talk to you again soon. God bless.